Hi, my love, beautiful souls of Mr. Pulse 1111. I'm back with your bring a dark into light. Please take what resonates and leave it as not for somebody else. Collect read non for spring. Okay, this is going to be a short little mini read, guys. And I mean short little mini read, okay? It's not going to be long. I just need you to see what you need to know, what's going on. What's going on with the collective? What's happening? I'm here running into old people from the past. Okay, what's going on? Going with the here. Uses everyone just for as a gigolo on every dating arrogant site. Um, nine nine nine. So, okay, you may be running into somebody that uses people. Okay, from your past. Okay, be careful with that. Okay, I'm hearing running into somebody um, at some kind of festival, at some kind of outing. You know, in the community, <clears throat> this person's a gigolo. Okay, this person uses people. Um, this person on dating apps, arrogant. Okay, 999 um, <clears throat> is usually an ending, closure, a completion. This could be a lesson to see if you learned your lesson from past past lessons and stuff like that. Especially if this person's coming back into your life. Um, or even just for a quick second, just to see how you react. Okay, I'm hearing something about like a lesson here or something about if you learned your lesson um, with this person. Just be very careful, okay? Be careful if, because we know that the summertime... Uh, there's a lot of festivals, a lot of fairs, a lot of, you know, outdoor things and stuff. More people are outside and stuff. And so you may run into people from your past, okay? These people are coming into your past just to see if you've learned a lesson, okay? And Spirit's saying, be careful because this person is a gigolo, okay? Could be on a dating app. So this could be somebody you used to date or just an ex-friend. Or it, it may even be somebody that you just just randomly just, like, not talk to anymore, okay? You just grew out of. Um, Spirit's just telling you, be careful because this person a gigolo, okay? And arrogant, and uses everybody. OG ancestors, yeah, they did it. Okay, so you have your original ancestors helping you. Okay, original gangster ancestors. Ancestors, um, they're telling you, yeah, somebody did something. Okay, so maybe you just stopped talking to this person because you felt like somebody used you. Okay, or felt like somebody was like arrogant. Um, starts, your ancestors saying, yeah, it was them. Okay. Your grandpa is with you, so we have a grandpa that's with you. That could be your ancestor, and your grandpa's the one could be warning you about this person. But spirit's saying, get out, okay? Don't don't be afraid to get out, okay? This is the thing: is do not be afraid to get out. Do not like you have a life too, and you're supposed to enjoy your life. You're supposed to have fun, and so it's okay, okay, to get out, okay? Don't don't fear that. Don't worry about that. Don't stress about that. Just just be alert, okay? Be alert. Be alert. We have fentanyl benzos coming out. Wow. Okay, I don't know why that's coming out. Fentanyl benzos. Okay, that could be somebody who's using drugs, okay? They're on benzos, they're on fentanyl. Okay, you run into them in a public place. A, B, C, D. Initials A, B, C, D, and the ages between 20 and 30. 20 and 30s. This is where I'm hearing too is like making sure you have your, you know, you have your boundaries, you created your boundaries, you put your boundaries up. Okay, that could be why this this lesson is happening or this this past person coming back in is to see if you created boundaries, if you're able to keep those boundaries, okay? The boundaries that you set if you're able to you, you keep them. Okay, you set them and you, you follow through with them for yourself and for for them. So no one can take advantage of you, okay? That's what I'm hearing too, so no one can take advantage of you. You thought this was done. You thought you won't see this person again is what I'm hearing. You thought you'd never see this person again. You thought this person was out of your life for good. And that's why this person coming back in, it, it's, it's to see if you learned. I'm also hearing like you don't have to, like if this person does come up to you, okay, something about if they come up to you, you don't have to be arrogant back. You don't have to be bitchy back. You don't have to be cruel or mean. If they come to, up to you and talk to you, can if they say hi, you can say hi back. If they ask you how you're doing, you can say you're doing good. You know, just kind of keep, keep your short talk, okay? Keep it short talk. Um, nothing too much about your business and stuff like that. You know, you could ask them how they're doing because you don't want to be stuck, stuck up or selfish either or rude or disrespectful towards them, okay? Um... And then just, you know, be like, okay, I have to go, you know, I have things I have to get done, you know, just kind of, you know, nonchalant, redirected and like maybe, you know, close off as like, it was nice seeing you, hope you're doing well, have a blessed day, and then walk off, you know what I mean, in a nice way, okay? Don't, you don't give them the cold shoulder either, okay? Unless they're starting talking bullshit, like something about bullshit, okay? 
it, it's showing that you have grown up. It's showing something about you. You've grown up. Um, you've you've walked. You you've came into your own. Um, you're respectful towards others, even people that have hurt you. This is an air sign, so you could be coming in like an air sign. Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. They're scared of your gifts. Somebody could be scared of your gifts. Okay, this person may have some kind of wasted talent. Okay, they're they're it's not even just wasted talent, they're like they're ignoring it. Like they're they may have okay, so they have talents, but they're just not using it, okay? They're, they're out there doing drugs, they're out there doing stupid shit, okay? They're they're wasting away their life. And that's why spirits also say you could pray for this person as well. Okay, you can just send a prayer to them. They never work alone. This person may be with somebody. Five, five on the clock. So five, 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 or three fives. That's change, extreme change, big change. An earth sign as well. So we have an earth sign. Okay, let's get two more. Okay, so they're under judgment. Okay, they're under judgment right now. Okay, and somebody's under judgment for witchcraft, bread coming, sleeping with underage people. But this is more bread coming or just under judgment, okay? Also, in the back, nothing was gained from pain they bought you. So this person could have caused pain in your life. Okay, in the past, this person hurt you. And that could be why this person's coming back into your life, okay? Just for a brief moment, brief second, okay? To show them that, like, this, this could be showing them, like, you didn't hurt me that bad, okay? You may hurt me, but I grew from it, I healed from it, I moved forward from it. Master game player. Okay, somebody was a master game player. Follow your intuition. Please put it right there, I'll get it. Thank you. Follow your intuition. This is the first minute of two morning. Okay. So yeah, so this person is just kind of like, you know what I mean? Like, they brought you pain. And that could be why too, like, remember I put out a reading before, um, in the past is like something about like, they thought they were going to bring you down. They thought you're going to fall apart. They thought your life was going to be just coming down. Like they were trying to destroy you. And they thought all the pain they brought you is like, you were not going to be able to get back up. Okay. They thought you were just going to, you know, crumble and fall apart, but instead you got back up. And so like some of these people are going to have to see, um, you growing and being successful. And that's their karma for trying to hurt you, betray you, lying to you, going against you. They get to see that you're successful. They get to see that you're moving forward. They get to see that you are, you know, living your best life. So that could be why this person's coming back in. You may run into this person because spirit wants them to see that you are successful, that you did get yourself back up after all the pain, the suffering that they put you through, the trauma they put you through, you didn't give up okay you didn't fall you you may have fell but you're, you're building yourself back up and so that's why spirits like okay they need to see how they, they they put they thought they caused you pain they thought they hurt you so bad but you're still moving around you're still doing things okay you're you're still living your life okay you're you're not staying in the shadows you're not you know hiding you're not in solitude anymore okay they couldn't bring you down where they couldn't destroy you and so that could be why this person's coming back in to see how well you're doing too okay and I'm hearing some of these people or this person or people that they're with are going to be really surprised how well you're doing, okay? Going to be really surprised how, you know, you're you're doing your thing, okay? You're, you're not afraid of being who you are. Yeah, they didn't gain anything. Like, you didn't gain, like, they didn't gain anything. What, the pain that they brought you, you gain, like, self-respect. You gain confidence. You gain heat, like self-love okay that they didn't want you to have okay yeah this is somebody that could have been using you as a pawn in the past okay they used you to treat you like a pawn they didn't treat you like a uh, individual or like a they didn't treat you with respect they didn't treat you the same as they are so they they, they brought you down they, they used you okay right there they said they used you gigolo you know arrogant and saw you as something that was an easy target okay saw they could take advantage of you but you're not their pawn. You're nobody's pawn. Okay? You woke up to that bullshit. Um, you raise your vibration. Okay? You raise your vibra vibration. Um, they try to... Yeah, this, this way it's talking about self-confidence and like um, creating boundaries. When you create boundaries, that's your sacred chakra, okay? So when you are not able to say no or say yes and you let people take advantage of you or you um, are a pawn or, you know, let people use you, that means your sacred chakra is blocked okay it's blocked and so for a moment your sacral chakra is blocked okay that's what this card says fractured sacral chakra this was blocked so you were not able to create things you were not able to put boundaries up okay you weren't able to say yes or no and that's also with the solar plexus too um 
solar plexus is a yes or no. So I'm hearing that it was like you had a blocked sacral chakra and solar plexus. And when you had that blocked sacral chakra and solar plexus is when like they took advantage of you. Okay. And you didn't feel worthy and stuff. And you felt like your life was falling apart and you felt like you, something about you did not feel good enough. And you had to walk away from that. You had actually um, balance out your sacral chakra and your solar plexus. Uh, good crystals for that is you could use a chakra bracelet or carnelian is really good for your sacral chakra and calcite is really good. Calcite or citrine is really good for your solar plexus. I do though have those in my shop. Um, here's citrine. I have a citrine anklet bracelet. Um, I think my bracelet's gone, was sold out. Yeah, I have a citrine anklet bracelet. Um, I have fire agate. Fire agate is really good for your sacral chakra as well right here. Fire agate. Um, with the evil eye, that's really good. Fire agate with labradorite is really good for your sacred chakra. Um, yellow jade, um, or yellow fire agate is good for your solar plexus and also your sacred chakra. I have my Harley Davidson bracelet, labradorite and, um, carnelian. That is really good for your sacred chakra as well. Okay. So, and then we have just, um, uh, carnelian with evil eye, sacral, and then blue aquarium with, uh, carnelian. So those are really good uh, crystals for your sacral and your solar plexus. Quart, uh, clear quartz also helps with your um, amplifying those those chakras. And then here is, I also have like citrine. This is citrine, okay? This is really good for your solar plexus. Oh, he's even folding. You guys see my fold? My husband's even folding the laundry. Here, you guys can see. <laughs> I got him full of laundry. He's done it before. He didn't do it for a while. I couldn't pause it to go over there. Okay, I'm going to grab a couple more cards because I said this short reading. So let's just grab an oracle card. Yeah, you've done a lot of healing, a lot of growing. People, like I said, this too, like people are going to be surprised how well you look, okay, and how well you're doing. There's people that thought you were just going to go back to your old ways, back to your past, okay? Maybe going back to certain people. And there's going to be surpri there's gonna be a surprise about this, okay? They're going to... Honestly, at first, I'm, I'm hearing, like, they're not going to believe that, that you're doing so well, okay? And you may not be recognizable either. You've changed so much in a positive way. They're like, is that that person? Is that is that my collective? Is that is that the, her or him? Really? They look really healthy, look really good. Okay, that's what I'm hearing. They look really healthy, really good. I'm also hearing like they, they are thinking like you don't look like you've ever been beat up. Like, you know, shut down, hurt, betrayed, okay? Like all the healing you've done, you, you don't look like you went through something. You didn't go through like a trauma or like a struggle and stuff, but you did. You went through a spiritual awakening, a dark night of soul, an ego death. They're going to be surprised how well you're doing okay um first quarter moon and gemini speak your world into being okay you're speaking your world into being it's too many if you're afraid to get out go for it okay on the bottom new moon in aries go for it okay if you're afraid to get out Okay, what else going on with this? Close this out. Okay, you could be seeing animals, you could be an animal lover, okay? Or these people could be like animal, okay? They could be predator, predators, okay? These are people that, you know, act out, okay? That could have been something about you too in the past. Okay, this also could be like, I'm seeing animal, this could be like a circus or like a zoo. You could be running into this first people. Okay, one of those animals. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to grab these and then I'm going to get angel number to close out. golden phoenix something you thought finished burst back into your life wow did i say this is the confirmation see 
I said that something you thought finished burst back in your life. You're going to run into somebody that you haven't seen in a long time. Somebody you just maybe just stopped talking to you or you cut off or whatever, or just you grew away from this person. You moved away. They're going to burst back in your life. Okay. Alice in the sea of tears cast away out of the depths feel abandoned. Okay. So they could have felt this is something about, I feel like they felt like you abandoned them. Okay. Or they abandoned you and you just moved forward. Okay. There's some kind of abandonment here. Okay, cast away these these feelings. Okay, cast away your tears. Okay, this is something you could you could have cried a lot over. Okay, you were very emotional. Okay, this person abandoned you. You abandoned them, or you know it just didn't work out, and it just it caused a lot of emotion. Okay, a lot of tears. Number twelve and number eleven That's significant. Okay, twelve breaks down to three. Eleven, you don't break that down. Um, it stays at eleven, so it's aligning, mirroring. 12 is 3, so Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Triad, Mind, Body, and Soul. Okay, what else, Spirit? What else? Thank you. I just want one of these. Angel of Time, working too hard. See, you've been working hard. That's why Spirit's saying get up, have fun, okay? Enjoy the day. Enjoy the moment, okay? Um, Wing Seer, you see clearly, clearly clairvoyance. So you already may feel this, okay? This may be something about maybe you're afraid. Maybe you're like, I shouldn't go out. I'm going to run into somebody I don't want to see. I don't want to deal with them. Um, so you're feeling that. But Spirit's saying it's okay, okay? You should see that you're going to run into this person. This is just some, something. For, this is going to close out a cycle too, okay? Like I said, to see if you've learned a cycle. Um, it's going to close out the cycle. This And I'm also hearing that somebody else you may run into, they may be doing really well too, okay? And maybe that's why you guys are running into each other, okay? Because... You're doing well, and they're doing well. Blackbird, the magical and unique qualities of your untapped potential are unfolding now. Okay, maybe you've seen a lot of blackbirds. The kids' clothes, like, you don't have to fold that up if you want. The kids' clothes, just look at this. Um, the size. The, the size, like... The kids' clothes, like all the girl clothes, like you just look at the size. Don't even fold it up. Because we don't. Um, I'm almost done. 85. Opportunities coming your way. Force are aligning with you. Prosperity, blessings. Align life with your divine plan. Karma. Karma. Okay. 11. Aries, Aries, Gemini, Scorpio. So you could be running into an Aries, Aries, Gemini, or Scorpio. Or you could be Aries, or Scorpio, or Gemini. Let's go grind. Cancer, Leo, Scorpio, and Gemini. I love you guys. Love, peace, light, healing. Namaste.